ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after 12 minutes, 12 unfortunate minutes, this uh, Modern Horizons queue has fired. So here we are. And we're going to draft this Modern Horizons cube. And I said earlier, not, not cube, uh, Q, I guess. And uh, I said earlier on I the wish stream. Cube. I wish I always wish. I wish everything was cube. I said earlier that I really appreciate If you guys are just watching exclusively on YouTube and you head on over to Twitch and you still subscribe, even though you can rarely catch streams live, that is the, the coolest thing you could do. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for that. Uh, what do you think here, man? What's the pick? I thought the coolest thing you could do was smoke the smoke the the droopy. You mean like the dog? Yeah, like the dog. Droopy the dog? Take Hogak, man. Is that good? Is it good enough though? No. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that's unplayable in draft. You're unplayable in draft. I think it's either saddled rhyme stag, which is very very good, or winter's. I think it's just saddled rhyme stag. I'm taking rhymey boy. And this is just a 2-2, then if a creature enters the battlefield, it's a 4-4. Four, four. So usually it's a 4-4 four, four on turn 2. Is it for every creature or just once? Uh, if a creature enters the battlefield, you get... <clears throat> okay, so you can't, like, 6-6, six, 8-8? Six, eight, eight, no, that'd time. be insane. Because then you play that card that makes, like, three goblins, and then you're like, I'll give it plus 6, plus 6. Like, we need you to do a stream where you eat... All you do is eat a variety of foods with different textures so we can hear the uniqueness of each sound. That's, uh... The cons of Tarkir Cube starts tomorrow? Wait, What? What? I'll play that. That sounds like fun. That's interesting. I'm going to probably take it. this gluttonous slug. Oh, actually, Webby Your Rechanging gluttonous slug. Terrible. Your mother's a gluttonous slug. How dare you? How dare your mother? I'm going to take the slug. Everybody, I want you to look at how beautiful this donut is. It's a pine... It's a... It's a... This is an, a pineapple upside down donut from the Wawa. It's a genius invention. Hashtag Wawa sponsored stream. Um, I do like Crosan Tuscaro. Tuscaro. The key is not to rip the whole pineapple off. The key is, yeah, you don't want to take a bite and have the whole pineapple come off because that's it just really sad. tries to though. Yeah, you gotta really, you gotta really restrain it. Jay Pisto, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate. Oh, the regular sub. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Really appreciate you. You are good times. Uh, I think Winter's Rest is good, but I can't, I'm, I'm just as comfortable taking Venomous Changeling. They're both basic. It looks like the movement. giant eye from the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's Sauron. Where? What does? Oh, the, 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 the donut. donut? Yeah, similarly, the Cheesecake Factory also has those giant eyes from Lord of the Rings. So, you know, keep that in mind. I'm one of those guys who lives in another time zone and lurks on YouTube. Uh, yeah, but, like, when, when, when the YouTube viewers make the effort to, like, come to the stream and subscribe, even though they can't catch it, just because they know they're supporting the content, like, that's just, like, the best feeling ever. So if you guys do that, thank you so much. If you don't, I still appreciate you. I still appreciate your viewership, and I still, I'm still i still grateful that you watch, but... Other like happen? What? You want to take this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not playing Commander, you know. We'll build around it. <laughs> <laughs> How many legendary permits do you think we can get? Zero. I think we can get actual zero. If there was... <clears throat> If this said choose two, I'd be on board, but it says choose one, and I'm just like, no, I'm out. I took the snow-covered land, because when in doubt, snow it out. That's what I always say. I've never heard you say that. Buddy, I say it every day. Really? Well, no, I made that up. I'm sorry, that was a lie. You know what we do to liars in this town, don't you? No, what do they? What do you do? We say, "Hey, man, it's messed up. Don't do it again." That is what you say to liars. I only got two: an old-fashioned and a pineapple upside down donut. Can you imagine if, like, he got how many more donuts could you eat? What do you, what do you think your maximum number oh, of donuts to eat? Though? This is already too much. I had too much tacos. Like, this is pretty. Yeah, Mike had like seven tacos for dinner, and then he's like, "I need to, I need to wash it down with two donuts and forty-four ounces." Plus, I had rice and beans oh. and all the chips. <laughs> what is this drink you got? <clears throat> high C orange. Oh my god. How many calories do you think are in that high, that forty-four I ounces of high C orange? I don't know. What, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Let's say twelve ounces. It's sugar-free. No, it ain't. No way is high. Yeah, I got the sugar-free one. That doesn't exist. Oh. I think sugar is the number one ingredient. Oh, talisman of resistance. Shut up and take or resilience, rather. 
Just wanted to show some support for all the hours of entertainment you have provided me throughout. The thank you, TJ. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I hope, uh, I hope the bad times are not present. But I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. I'm going to take this talisman of resistance. What if it takes you back? Takes me. What is it? What if it takes me back? Yeah. It wasn't a good joke. <laughs> I was waiting. I'm like, I can't think of anything to say. To sugar this. is the number one ingredient in sugar. Wow, that's true. So let's say a normal soda probably has between 150 and 190 calories, right? So I think we can. Oh god, I just kind of want to take this because it's cool, but it's a phantom draft, so it literally has no value whatsoever. But still, I mean, we could literally figure this out. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to... Oh, we can Oh, we can actually look up... Yeah, what is it? High C Fruit Punch or High C Orange? High C Orange. I remember when um, McDonald's used to have the High C Orange. But not anymore. Yeah, let's look at the six, six ounce one. Lava... Is it, it's got to be Orange Lava Burst, right? I have no idea. 40 calories per six ounces. That seems low. <clears throat> All right, let's get these out of here. Oh, Deep Forest Hermit. That's a that's a pickable. It's way less calories than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's because you're. Does all right. Let's look up. Let's look up Wawa. I see orange. I don't know why Wawa specifically. Wawa I see orange. Oh, so this is orange vanilla though. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh, Frostwalla. Keep on rolling. No Frostwalla. I knew you were gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna look up. I'm John. I see. I see. Orange. Orange. Oh, I can't click on this. They're just showing me. <clears throat> They're just literally showing me what they have. Okay. Well, that's amazing. Hmm. Or maybe it is orange lava, whatever. Why say lava burst though? This is not a lava burst. Uh, another Frostwalla? I'm on board. Frostwalla is one of the best creatures you can take. Oh, we just need some more Snowlands. We only have one so far, but I'm believing in it. I see orange drink. That's what we're talking about. should look at the McDonald's one because that would be perfect. 21 ounces is, is 20, 230 calories. So 42 ounces is about 460 calories. So it's about, probably about 500 it's not calories. not as bad as I thought. Uh, well, you know what they say. I thought it was going to be like 1,000 because it tastes very sugary. I thought it was going to be 1,000. Uh, I wish well, this was a else predicted to clearly Canadian as a child. What is clearly Canadian? It's like, um, you know those, you know those like ice drinks. Yes, they're like, like the, the Publix. Yeah, they're like the. It's like sparkling. It's like a sparkling drink. It's Flavored not, water yeah, or whatever. Yeah, right. They're kind of like that. Okay. I don't think I ever was as a child. I've got a name. I like another slug here. We're not really committed to the black, though, to be quite honest. <coughs> yeah, we could probably ditch black. That's rude. I'm being rude right and now. Wing charge is pretty good. So is snow covered mountain. But we ain't red. We could take the wing shards and uh, and then try to pick up the white, the white blinker boys. Those blinker boys are out again. Still has to drink eight six ounce high seas. What does that mean? On Mike V's tombstone. I thought it was more than that. <laughs> How did Mike die? Well, he was drinking some high C, and we looked up the calories, and he thought it was more than that, but, you know, he tried. Well, and then there's no green cards here, and there's barely a white card. Eat it. There's a bouncy boy. A bouncy boy? Mm hmm. What does that mean? Right there. Where? Right. Right? This? Yeah. yeah. Eh. I like Goblin War Party. That guy's not good. No, I mean, this giving your creatures plus one, plus one, and haste until end of turn is pretty good with Deep Forest Tournament. We'll try this guy. Yeah, why didn't you drink the six-ounce ones instead? You could have just had multiple six-ounce ones. Because they didn't serve that there, Frank. <laughs> okay, well, excuse me, Michael. I should have asked for him. Yeah, you guys got any of the six-packs? Six six packs? I know it's a worse deal, but can I get it anyway? 
Who is this? It's Velcro. That's 3M Velcro strippies. Mm. No, it's not a drink. You don't. You, you got know? a Velcro Velcro job you're doing? You got Velcro? Got it in the back? It's, can you go look? Can you, can you go check at least? I feel like you're not even checking for me. And that's really. I like return from each thing. Can return two cards and show the same type. And we can easily get back, like, all our lizards. Or all can, our lizards. I'm going to take this because maybe we're still on black. We'll find out. You can hear Hunter chewing on his little bone in the background. That's the untruable bone. I love it. I love it when he chews on that thing because I'm like, yes, he's keeping himself occupied. He's having a good time. Sharpening his teeth. Yeah. Well. Oh, nifty Chris. What's going on, my dude? <laughs> Sir, it's literally still liquid sugar. The ingredients are exactly the same. I like how everyone spells barbably boo different. It's never the same. It's never the same. Oh, yes. Excellent. Snow covered Latins. Excellent. We could also be uh, green, white, and then splash these black cards. Yeah, reparation's nice. Because we also have this, uh, the talisman to help with that. Oh, see, another, another, another snow covered whitey boy. You know what I'm saying? No. Michael, do you know what I'm saying? I have no idea. Well, I'm basically drunk. God, once he gets that high seeing him. Yeah, the six ounces was, yeah, it was literally the link to a, the juice box version. Oh, new glasses, eh? Yeah, I was looking down, though. Good attempt. Oh, you gotta do it. Spin your head around so they they go in a circle. Please tell me they're googly. Oh God, yes. Well, yeah, you really nailed that one. Land of War Tribe seems pretty decent. Mm. <laughs> Factor fiction is great, but we have literal no blue sources and no way to play blue. Triple green's a little rough. Is it though? Like we're we're very we're very solidly green here. Yeah, but are you gonna be triple green on turn three solidly green? Yes. I don't know, man. Yes. We also take spring bloom bloom druid, which is very, very good. Okay, you sold me. I didn't say anything. Exactly. And I can't Your silence me sold like me, Mike's Michael. Daddy did. Mike's got a name. Moving me down the highway, Michael B. I'm gonna take scale up because we have deep forest hermit here. And some scale up to the squale up. No one does that. No one scales up to the squale up. Okay. I should have one donut. Oh wow, he's already having donut regret. <laughs> <laughs> the donut regret is already real. Sitting high in the stomach. Let's just say that. That's because there's no more room in there. I like elk here, and we can also get back. Uh, this guy's also an elk, so it goes well with the Their return from extinction. Yeah, from our for our elk theme. I do like blizzard strix a lot, but I don't want to go. I don't want to start going to four colors here. And with googly eyes, glasses, and bobby butters, this is a real treat. Those are some hot googly eyes, Kerwit. You are correct as the man who sent us these hot googly eyes. Another snow covered planes. For the two white cards we have right now. I really like this astral drift, but we have literally like one cycling card and it's a land, so I don't think that's really where I want to be. I guess we have two cycling cards. I like that they printed that card, it just does not work in draft. I agree. I agree. I like that it exists, but I have to do a debate for class. I'm thinking about getting my team funny guy glasses for when they opposing that's actually hilarious. I feel like if they don't find that um, as a rules violation, I think that would be really hilarious. Um, I like Lesser Masticor here. This guy's actually really problematic. He's very lesser. You're very lesser. Wow. That's messed up, man. Yeah. Well, I thought we were friends. You brought this on yourself, Michael. Mucho. Uh, 
I was gonna get you the bigger one, but the bigger one was like thirty two ounces, which I thought was no, way this too is, big. No, this is perfect. This is the twenty two ounce boy. This is a great size. Oh, if it isn't Mean Munger herself, um, Triangle Ticket, Elvish Fury, Recruit the Worthy, Elvish Fury, Elvish Worthy, Elvish Worthy, 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 Worthy McBurgy. I like Recruit here because we do have Scale Up and we have. That's all we have. I do like Fury actually. Fury's been oh, did this guy come back or is this a different one? Uh, maybe. I don't think this is the same pack though. I don't think so. I didn't. I don't think a regular cohorts was in there. But I will I take. I also don't remember a lava dart. Oh, another snow covered swamp. That seems pretty okay. Could take wall of a thousand cuts. Frank's got a slushy. That's watermelon and cherry, and I've got a high C orange, forty four ounces. I missed the journey that Moochel took. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he went to the Wawa. And this is half watermelon, half cherry. That's what we went with, so. I really just want to make sure we have enough. Actually, we don't have any flying. We'll just get this because it's good for against the flying boys. Them flying boys are, are out of the white, game. Though? What? What? Are we in white? Yeah, we have three snow cover. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? We can just splash the black and the white. It's totally fine. Okay. Okay. I want to take this recruit because it's actually pretty good to scale up. So, Are we even white, though? SpongeBob meme. Is that a SpongeBob meme? Oh. Yeah, because you do the, the, like, the deranged... I don't know. I don't even know what you'd call it, but the, the SpongeBob that's like... Oh, the, yeah, the, the uppercase and the lowercase? Yeah, the uppercase, lowercase SpongeBob. I don't know if it has a name. Interesting combination. I'm not sold. <clears throat> well, that's rude. They're both fruits. Fruits go together, right? Oh, I was just built a mile away from my house, and everyone on night shift knows. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's yikes. Eh, whatever. Oh, wow, that's Wawa's a last dope. pick. This meme, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, Chris nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. Wow, we also got like seven snowlands, which is just great. And I carry it with me like Moochel did. Moochel's got a name. Moochel's got a name. Moving Mooch down the highway. Moving Moochel, I want Moochel by. Mutual pie? What? So this is nine forests. Yeah, mutual pie. This is nine forests. Hmm. We can go eight. And then three swamps, and then six of these. Was it six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen? Yeah, that seems good. Alright, let's do it. Let's let's lose handily with this deck. Can do. Yeah, the uppercase, lowercase meme. Also, Mooch going back to the high C orange is a throwback. Yeah, that's an that's an old that's an old McDonald's store back there. I feel like he only goes to the Wawa because they have the freestyle machine and he wants that high C orange. So good. It it reminds me of childhood. I'm in Seattle and I've never been to Wawa or Publix. I feel like I'm missing out on two great. Wawa and Publix are both fantastic treasures. If Nigel had a power and toughness, what would it be? I thought that was a pro tour. If Nigel had a pro tour, what would, what would Nigel's pro tour be? Hmm. That's a good question. Probably like a 13 out of 10. Freestyle is how you get guaranteed Dr. Pepper. And you can also get the Dr. Pepper flavored ones like vanilla Dr. Pepper. Otherwise, places just disappoint. Man, dude, I will literally frequent restaurants that have that have the freestyle machine. What? Is, what? Spore frog. All right, you piqued my interest. I won one. No way. I won one. No way. Oh, it sounded like you literally sounded like you were speaking another language there. Maybe I was because you said it so. Cool. I won one. No way. I, I so like I don't think he has zero power because I think he is a little feisty. 
But I also don't. He's a tiny little guy, so I don't think he's that resilient either. He doesn't look that tiny. Nigel? Yeah. Nigel's a little biscuit. Smaller than Hunter? Oh, he's much smaller than Hunter. Well, I've never seen him in person. Really? So, unfortunately. Had you moved back before that? Yeah, it was before, I think it was before that. Okay. Well, there's no way I would have missed out on Doggo occasions. Yeah, because Nigel actually came and visited us when we were in Seattle, and uh, him and Hunter played. And, yeah, Chris, give give uh, Mike an idea of Nigel's size in relation to something else. Those freestyle machines are all over here. Also, have you used the Coke app that lets you store your own mixes for the freestyle? No? Good Lord, what a time to be alive. He's the size of a little man. <laughs> Yeah, he's actually that's, that small. Yeah, that's actually. No, he can't be as small as the cat. No, head. he's definitely tiny. He just doesn't look that small he, in the pictures. That's because there's no frame of reference in the pictures. Nigel is a cutie. Nigel is the he's most. Gotta be bigger than a little man. Okay, listen, buddy. Why would I, why would, who's lying about that? Who's lying about the size of Nigel versus Little Man? And I'm carrying with me like Mike's little man. My being a man. Oh, this is unfortunate. Then again, Little Man is kind of big. Little cat. Man's chonky, yeah. You open the Coke app and you scan a code on the free scale machine, then your mixes show up on the screen. Get out of here, dude. So you can get like a crazy suicide mix? They didn't do anything. Nigel does not look like Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> Thank God. Doesn't he, though? No. Doesn't he? Are you going to spell stuff this? God, I'd cry. Oh, God. No, oh, that's much better. I feel, I feel better for, for our opponent. How come you didn't ask them to blend any of the uh, the Kit Kats into your drink? Because that's disgusting, Frank. Is it? Mike, you can get whatever you like. You remember that song? No, man. I only sing it frequently. Fre fre frequently? Yeah, frequently. Freakery? Freakery. 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 It doesn't look good for us. It's, I think we're in really good shape here. Hmm. Doubt. Me too. Hey, banana and coffee is delicious. Specifically, it has to be a frappuccino, though. <laughs> not a, just a regular coffee. That would probably not be good. Not a, just a regular coffee, huh? So basically, a coffee milkshake. Because that's all frappuccino. Just really blend is. the whole banana in there. You know what I mean? Michael just pulls a sneaky banana out of his pocket. Hey, put this in there. Blend it up. You can carry it with me like Mike's daddy did. Every time I hear I've Got a Name by Jim Croce, I always want to just watch Django. Django! That movie's so good. It's unbelievably good. It's pretty good. I want to just watch it tonight. That's going to be a commitment. Is it? It's pretty long. Watching a movie I really enjoy? <laughs> Please. Like when? After the stream? Yeah. Why not on stream? Uh, you're, that's a good point. I'll do that. Just this guy, huh? You're going right. to save yourself some time. Well, I'm getting rid of it. <sighs> well, I'll carry it with me. Like Mike's daddy did. Same target. When he went to get cigarettes. Did you guys know Mike's dad came back? He didn't. This past week he came back and he uh, he was actually a millionaire. And he's sharing his wealth with Michael. And he feels bad about being gone for so long. Boy, if only that were true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, are you trying to say that was not that's not a true story? Yeah, I'm saying that's not accurate. Don't have another exclude because then we die. If you have two excludes, I'd cry. Prepare to cry. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> Whatever, man. He didn't have two. He did not. He it did not. Uh, no, we are not attacking.
I feel like that should be on the board. That's pretty good. Does he, when does he say my grandpa gave me this card? You would never have caught that cold if it wasn't for Weevil. My cards! Those were the Exodia cards that my grandpa gave me. <laughs> there it is. There it is. My grandpa gave me those cards. Really bad at magic. This is indeed a late night stream. I like how people ask that. They're like, late night stream? And I'm like, nope. What time is it? What if I say no? I'm just like, no. It's not. Then what do you do? It's not. No, it's not. It It's it's not. That's the Joker when they're like, he's crazy. And he's like, I'm not. Yeah, if you can kill a Batman so easily. Why haven't you done it already? If you're good at something, never do it for free. That's the Joker. It's played by Heath Ledger. You ever seen that movie? Dark Who's Knight? that? No. You ever seen Dark Knight? No, I've never <laughs> seen that. We should watch it sometime. It's real good. No, I think I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it doesn't really sound like it's something I'd be interested in. Eh. You know, I actually own the Blu-ray, but I never watch it. That sounds like a good investment for you. Do me a favor, man. Mm -hmm. uh, say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> Those are the cards my grandpa gave me. It's not a late night stream. Mike's awake, so it's like a mid-morning stream. Well, maybe for me. Michael, do you have an Exodia? God, I hope I don't get demonetized for that. It's going to be like... Bandai Incorporated or Konami or whoever owns Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be like I believe it's Konami they flag, they're going to flag me and be like hey buddy we noticed you were profiting off of uh, our Exodia meme and then I'd be like well no I'm sorry I didn't mean to I didn't make any money off of Exodia at all Ooh. yep that's just going to kill us oh boy good time yeah, I carry it with me like my 3-2 did. So that guy's coming tomorrow, right? Who? Yeah, 3. Okay. 3 p.m. I'll be up by 2 and a half. You'll be up to like 2.45 probably. Set that alarm for as late as you want. You can do it as late as you want. Well, what if he comes early? I don't want to be... Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> also, I wanted to take a shower and stuff. A shower? A shower. I want to take a shower. I want to take a shower. I want to take a shower. I want to get very clean with my shower. Okay. I don't know if we. I don't know if that's racist or not. Is that racist? That's not. No, because no one says it like that. It literally has never happened. I want to. I want to take shower. Uh. Keep. One green in the sand is just fine. I want to take shower. Hey, you like to take the shower? You get the clean. Huh? And Konami fired. Freaking Hideo Kojima. Kojima. So what? What do they know? Idiots. Well, it's like, they fired Hideo Kojima. What chance do we have? <laughs> I feel like if you're at Konami, right, and you fire Hideo Kojima, and you see his next his next project is Death Stranded. Stranded? Is that what it's called? Death yeah. There's got to be at least a part of you that looks at it and is like, yeah, we kind of made the right decision. Oh, jeez, Rick. That dude's <laughs> super weird. Plus, like, they thought they could make Metal Gear without him, and they they were so garbage that they tanked. That's because no one understands Metal Gear except for Hideo Kojima. So you're like, oh, well, his I don't know one, uh, I don't know also his on. one, like his like second in command guy. But I think he also jumped ship when Konami got fired. Stranding, so. Death Stranding. Okay. Oh man, I was two feet from Kojima on Saturday. Well, that's a thing. Consider me jealous. He was at uh, SD. SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, where the Marvel announcements were absolutely unbelievable. You know what, man? After Phase Three, I was like, "This is like top tier. This is the this is the highest you can get, right?" Like, Phase Three meaning up until what movie? Like Endgame, far Endgame slash Far From Home. Okay. But like. I'm real excited for Phase 4. I'm also starting to think this was not a keep, but here we are. Well, I mean, 
it's going to be a while before we have an Endgame like movie, right? Like you can't expect that. Like yeah, well that's not... going to be Doctor Doom, I'm sure. We'll see. So Phase Four was One they've got eight. the Black Widow movie. Yes. The Thor movie. Yes. There's uh, Eternals. Eternals. Shang Chi. Shang Chi, right? Uh, Blade. Blade. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy version three, volume mm -hmm. three rather. They also announced that What If show or whatever. Well, we need TV, TV shows is Winter Soldier and Falcon, Loki, WandaVision, uh, What If, and Hawkeye. Thank you. Josh, welcome back, buddy. Yes, there is a Blade movie coming, and Mahershala Ali is playing Blade, which is extremely which I'm sick. totally okay with. That dude is amazing in everything he's in. If you guys have not seen Moon, Moonlight, definitely see Moonlight. I actually enjoyed the Blade movies, so... Oh, also, yes, Doc Doctor Strange 2, Black Panther 2, and Captain Marvel 2 are also on the list, but they weren't announced at SDCC. And I cannot wait for Thor Love and Thunder as well. That's going to be just phenomenal. It's not until, like, 2021, though, right? Yes, but, like, it's weird because it's gonna, it's it's 2021, but it's also probably just going to feel like tomorrow. It'll be here as soon as you also, know Also, isn't it. James Gunn also doing... Isn't he the one that's uh, doing... Um, James Gunn is doing Guardians 3. He's also isn't he also involved with um He's doing Suicide Squad first. Yes, that's Yeah, what, he's yeah. finishing Suicide Squad before he does Guardians 3. Did this guy not? So there's going to be a Suicide Squad 2. Oh, we're going to block and they're going to blow us out with the baleful. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm not going to not block here, but yeah, that's terrible. I'm just going to scoop here. We we we're not coming back from this. We're just way too far behind. That makes me want to watch the first Suicide Squad without falling asleep, but you're not going to be able to do that though. It's not a good movie. Did you watch it? Nope. Don't have to. It's literally one of the movies that you feel like you don't have to watch. You know, it's like... Well, if I want to see the second one, I kind of want to watch the first well, one. Well, see, the, the difference is... With a movie like Citizen Kane, right? Okay, you, well, that's not... No, no, no. You may not like it. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing, like... A lot of people say, like, movies are bad, right? Like, I was, I was talking... Mm. I was listening to someone talk about Endgame. And they're like, I didn't think it was a good movie. And I don't think you really ha you can't really say that because it is a good movie. You just don't like it, right? Like people, I think people need to figure out the difference between not liking something and that that making a thing bad, right? Like so, Suicide Squad, the first one. Uh, I actually think it's probably just a bad movie. I think it's probably just an incoherent mess. That that would be my uh, opinion of it as someone who hasn't even seen it. But, you know, I haven't heard any good things about it. And usually if you have an aggregate site like Rotten Tomatoes where a movie gets 90%, enough people have said good things about this from enough different places and spectrums that you can usually trust those opinions. You can be like, okay, there's no way 90% of these people are wrong, so it's probably decent. Like, again, like my, my example with Citizen, Citizen Kane was going to be that, like, you can dislike it. You can not like the movie. But Citizen Kane is a movie where it's hard to argue that it's a good movie. Or it's not a good movie, you mean. Because I love The Room, and the movie is objectively all correct, right? Like, there's certain criteria you base movies on, whether they're good or bad. Storytelling, art direction, you know, acting, things like that. And those can all be very good, and you can still not like a Punisher. Or not, not like a movie. So I think, there, I think there's a lot of importance to be had from... Uh, distinguishing between when a movie is bad and when you simply don't like a movie. Yeah, you can also appreciate the cultu cultural significance of a movie. Like, like, at no point does The Room become a good movie. But it is culturally significant and it is enjoyable. Right? And those are interesting distinctions to make. I'm trying to think of a well-liked movie that I don't like and I can't really think of one. I think I'm an, I'm an easy person to please. Like, I, I'm like... I'm not super, super hypercritical. In if you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> wow, nice cutaway. You like that? <laughs> that was classic gag right there. <laughs> I was hoping I could raise my eyebrows enough to make it look like a, like a Groucho Marx bit. I've never seen Gone with the Wind. I have seen Citizen Kane. Don't think I've seen Showgirls. Have you seen the Christmas edition? It's called Citizen Candy Kane. Yeah, man, that's my favorite version. That's a good one. I also like Blade Runner, but it's a very well done movie. Yes, thank you. I appreciate... See, I just appreciate people acknowledging it. Like, just acknowledge the fact that it is a good movie. I actually wasn't super impressed with Blade Runner the first time I saw it, but then I watched it again before the new one came out. 
uh, like a different cut, and I actually enjoyed it. You want some Groucho Marx eyebrows? <laughs> uh, I think we have enough props for now. You know what I do want? I want an actual, like, I want a professional fake mustache kit. Not one that, like, hooks in the nostrils with a painful plastic piece. And not one that uses, like, you know, tape that's going to, like, expire. But, like, something that I could, like, wear regularly and have a good time with. Oh, I've seen Cabin Fever. I, I don't Cabin know Fever if that great. exists. Have you seen Cabin Fever? I don't think so. Is that oh, a horror movie? Oh, it's great. It's a, it's a, it's like a Mimi horror movie though. Mimi. So, it's like. Wait, am I thinking of the right movie? Hold oh on. God, he's Let not. Let me make sure. Before I go, crazy. And I carry with my Oh, our Duke Energy just sent me an email, and they were like. Here's our new app. And I was like, oh, really? You got an energy app? An app for my energy? Oh, no, not Cabin Fever. I'm thinking of a different movie. Never mind. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Cabin in the Woods, I think it is. Mike is thinking of Cabin in the Woods. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen Cabin in the Woods? I haven't seen any movie with the name Cabin in it. You should really see Cabin in the Woods. It's freaking great. What is it about? It's like a horror movie, but there's a huge twist that makes it really, really Is cool. it an Eli Roth movie? Or an Eli... Is that his name? Um, Eli Roth? Let me see who I think it is Eli Roth. Rather, I think that's the name I'm thinking of. I'm not sure if the movie is, but it might be. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods blew me away. It's Joss Whedon? Interesting. Yeah, it's super, super great. Super great? Yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> is it on, like, Netflix or something to make it easy? Of course not. I think I'm thinking of, like, Hostel, which is, uh, which is, jo which is, uh... That's Eli, Eli Roth, Roth yeah. yeah. That was a hard movie to watch. It's basically disgusting. You're basically disgusting. <laughs> Got him. Oh no, I have to. Let's go white and this and do 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 do. Oh, sorry, Chris Hemsworth is in it. Oh yeah. I just don't want you to be having loot three loot outlets every turn. Like the thing about Cabin in the Woods is, I want to give you why it's so good, but if I is there do like that, twists? If I do that, yeah, it'll it'll give it away. <coughs> there's twists. Yeah, there's a. There's oh, a I like a good twist. twist. You should definitely watch it. Oh, hold on, it's let really, me. really good. All right, we're good. Man, I'm almost out of juice. Like it is technically a horror movie, but it's not really that scary. It's just a great movie. You're a great horror movie. You should you should download it so we can have it prepped. Well, I can't download it while I'm while I'm streaming, man. Let me right now, nerd. Whatever, dude. I also might have it on my computer. I'll check. You might have it on. I might just have it on my computer. Does the RC? Does the uh, M movie motion picture so MPAA know about that man? Uh, I bought it. Oh, well. Th never mind then. Carry on. Cabin in the Woods is like the modern version of Scream, where it plays with horror tropes. Yeah, I'd agree with that a little bit. But Scream was actually, I mean, Scream was revolutionary at the time. I don't know how well it holds up, but it was really yeah, I haven't seen it fantastic and released. Day. Yeah, that came out when I was a, when I was a youngin. When you were a small a small babe. Let's see what year that was. It had to be like ninety four or five. I don't think it's that old. Maybe it could be though. It's definitely that old. Let's see, Scream ninety six. Oh wow, I was one year off. Come on. You were like two years off. You said 94. I said 94, 95, did I not? Did you? Okay, maybe you did. Yeah, it was 96. Huh? I was five years old. You're basically a babe. A small little babe. I was so afraid of the Scream Mask on Halloween. Yeah, because it's so good. Like, the movie was like... And you never expected the twist at the end. I don't know if I could say it because I don't want to spoil anybody on screen. I mean, it came out in 1996, man. Is 23, 23 years enough, uh, <laughs> enough of a spoiler? <laughs> I think so. I don't even know if Michael's born in 1996. I was born in 91, you son of a Mitch. <laughs> oh, my bad. I thought that, yeah, Scream, when I first saw it, scared the crap out of me. One of the things about Scream that was so scary was that it was just normal people. It wasn't like a supernatural force. It was your best friends who right. were just psychotic. Orcish veteran, thank you so much for the, res the, the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, dude. I also think Scream is overshadowed by its... Uh, its it's faux scream movies. The the what were the name of those movies? The, were they the scream content? But it was funny. What was those movies called? Uh, whoa, scary, uh, scary movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
But those came out after. Those were basically yeah, based but the, I feel off like they of over, yeah, I feel like they really overshadowed it. How so? I don't know. I think like more people remember stuff from Scary Movie. Oh, yeah, Scream. for sure. But no, you know what I think overshadowed Scream? I think I think some of the things that diluted the, the, the power of Scream were that they made like four sequels to Scream. Yeah, they did make a couple sequels. Yeah, I was like, you weren't even born in 1996. And then you were born in 1991. So I was right. You weren't born in 1996. You didn't say that, though. I said you weren't even born in 1996. Oh, and you, you weren't. I thought you said you were born in 1996. No, why would I say that? I don't know. <laughs> Dummy. I used to always use that mask as my Halloween get up because it was really good. Or because you're lazy and you're just like, I'll just keep using this. Yeah, I had a really good Scream costume, okay? <laughs> That's because all it is is like a, it's like a black cloak and a mask. Yeah. <laughs> what, what Nailed it, it every time. What, 10 out of 10, baby. What made it really good? And I had a, I had a knife. Yeah. Didn't think you think I'd think about that one, did you? It was a real knife. I stabbed and murdered someone as a seven-year-old. Did you ever see the one where it was a scream mask, but it was like cleared out and it had blood in it, and you could like make the blood pulse? Did you just confess to murder? <laughs> no, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, dear God. It sounded like he confessed to murder. Can we draw non land? Okay, thanks. Preach. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about. Tell me what you're talking about. The screen with the fake blood behind the mask, and you can make it all go woo. You can, you can make it go woo? It, but, like, it, you can make it, like, move around. Oh, it's like the Rorschach mask, where, like, it's, uh, yeah, it moves. Yeah, sort of. Okay, good talk. What does this guy do? As long as you have no cards in hand, this creature deals one damage to target player plant. Sure, that's fine. That cutter was a pretty good Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Here's Johnny. That's the right movie, right? Yes, that's okay. <laughs> that's not. I did you see the Shining once? Did you see so. the deep fake with Jim Carrey? No. Oh, it is trippy, dude. What is it? Just like him doing that moment, but with a weird face. I assume it's not even a weird face. I'll show you this. You know what deep fakes are, right? Yeah, yeah. It's where they like superimpose someone else's face on a on a video. It's real. It's real weird. Oh, that looks too good. It Even looks in that photo, unbelievable. Right? That, photo. that photo alone looks like that. Just looks exactly like, like the way it should be. It looks like the way it should be. Yeah, it's. Oh God, it's so weird because it's like. Oh, it's like the whole. It's like a whole scene. It's like a whole. It's yeah. It, I can't wrap my head around it. It's really dangerous. Yeah, it's such a weird precedence where now video evidence could be falsified. Which Fake? Is, yeah. Which is really kind of scary. And I carry it with me like my mama did. And, like, I think this is all amateur done, right? Like, this deep fake, this The Shining one, is by basically an amateur deep faker, right? Like, can you imagine if this is professionally used? Moving me down the road. Uh, three damage. Sure. Okay. So, you got something else? Results. Okay. So, this is going to take four. If we pump it again, it'll be a nine. It'll take five, six. Yeah, I think it's worth saving. Okay. Seven of nine. I'm sure there's ways to tell a deep fake from a real thing, yeah. But that's only this is only the start of it though, you know, like how good can it get? You know, a deep fake from a shallow fake. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one, two, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not not the ideal. I guess we'll just keep passing. Passing and sassin. You know what I mean? Oh man, I haven't heard of Tango and Cash in ages. Why'd you take the, Why'd you take this off? You put it on for two seconds and you're done. Fine, I'll put it back on. Endgame did indeed pass Avatar. Yep, just just barely, just recently. Doesn't matter. It just barely beat them. Their seven billion dollar uh, the record. I mean, like when you're talking about seven seven to eight billion dollars, I feel like just barely is good enough. Wait, what? Neither of them made seven billion dollars. 
Two billion. Yeah. Two billion. That's yeah. not it. Yeah, there's been no movie that's made three billion. Yet. Clearly, because those are the two biggest. Oh, this guy's outlasting everybody. That's going to eventually be a problem. That's not something that props can fix. Wow, these lands are just not just, good. Just wonderful. I mean, we could scale up at some point, make these dudes big fat fat boys. But they still got a blocky boy. Uh, Avatar was worth it to see in 3D, and it's an okay movie, but it uh, it's definitely not a movie that deserves to have that much success, in my opinion. It's not that great of a movie. Felt fake. They brought it back to Cinema Sun Extra Man, so it was just outtakes in the end of the film. Yeah, so, but so what, though? What does that matter? Yeah, don't forget, Avatar was like 10 years ago. Yeah, the story is pretty much Pocahontas. Can you feel the love tonight? That's the wrong movie. Shit. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Still wrong movie. Oh, <laughs> Do you want to go see that, by the way? I've never been hearing really bad things about it. Really? Oh, no. Yeah, it was technically more Dance of the Wolves. That's more accurate, yes. Yeah, but Dances with Wolves is fantastic. That is a solid Kevin Costner movie. It's a good one. I saw it in, in, in school. Did you really? Yeah, I don't remember why I watched it. It might have just been a, like a... I don't know, I maybe because it's relevant to our nation's culture and the genocide of Native Americans? Probably it, yeah. But yeah. what do I know? Nothing. This is Kermit the Frog drinking tea, and I'm like, but I don't know anything about that. It's But that's none of my business, okay? That's the meme. Jeez. I Gonna do the meme, at least do it right. I hate you more than I hate I've hated anyone in my life. <coughs> Can you f this round is taking forever. Forever should die. We've drawn a lot of lands. I'm not thrilled about it. Hermit guy. No. It Hermit. is where we Oh Hermit Guy would be fantastic with scale up. What even the recruit her, her, party, lady, like the, I should say. Who's that lady? Hermit lady. <laughs> That's right. That's what I was going for. No, no attacks, man. Oh, biscuits. I could watch Fern Gully right now. I, God, I really wish I had the uh, the make a make a one one the recruit token. <laughs> the hermit lady. Uh, Dan's while you're in town, we can go visit the hermit lady. I mean, is that a 90s style photograph on your desk? 90s style photograph? This? On your phone. This? Yeah. This isn't a coupon for Express. Oh. It looked like a 90s photograph. To you me. can get 75% off your order of $200, which I is actually pretty that. insane. That's almost 50% off. I could only see the lady in the picture, so I thought it was a real photo. Who, that's, who's, that's hermit lady. Who's <laughs> that lady? Do you think George R. R. Martin and James Cameron are having a contest to see who can pull off their next project the longest? Who put off the next project? Um, I think George, George R. R. Martin's going to win. I don't know, man. It's been a long time since Avatar. No, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. He's going to come out with the thing first. What do you think, Martin? Or Martin's going to come out with this project first. So I guess that's losing, right? Right. Deranged Hermit was a pickleball? I don't know what that means. Can we win here? I don't. Like they think block so. here, but these guys. Oh, we got twenty damage in Thank the board. Well, they block here. They have we have eighteen damage on the board. Chunk of junk. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Come on, give me a hermit or that the recruit card. That's all I want. Don't give me a land. Oh, that might do it actually. Oh, I think we just win. Because with dash. Yeah, we dash this guy in. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. We, wow, this is an insane win. Plus one plus one. 
plus one, plus one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have enough mana for Trample and for, for Root Walla Boy. He's a Root Walla Boy. He's a Root Walla Boy. He wasn't Root Walla enough. I feel like we sold this game. Well, they dirtled around and we had the way to anti we had the anti dirtle, so. Twenty for you? Can you feel Mock B tonight? <laughs> Mock B. It is Michael B. Michael B. Why did, wait, why can you block this? Oh, because it has flying. Sure. Look at that. We used every part of the buffalo in terms of our mana. Negative six. Wow, we really stole that win. I don't want to feel like B. Today. Okay, we'll save that for another night then, okay? Take it easy. Oh, Mike's got a lot of ice in his drink, so... Ice chewing ASMR warning. Incoming. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to decline to feel like, well, listen. That's messed up. I was going to share myself. <laughs> Did you say myself? Mm -hmm. I was going to share myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, God. I was going to share myself with you, but not anymore. Too cold. Ugh. Are you saying the ice is too yeah, cold? Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah, who saw that coming? Man, hey man you know me, I'm an ice chewing champ, but that was really cold. Is it because the ice cubes are smaller? I don't understand. It's not about the size of the ice cubes, it's the motion in the ocean, Michael. <laughs> oh my god. I've heard the ice has been really cold lately. <laughs> yeah, it's just that time of year, you know, when the ice gets really cold. Man, we totally stole that game with the dasher and the scale up. Turns out haste creatures with plus with making them a six four is pretty good. Is the ice colder here in Florida? There's no way that's a, a serious statement, that's right? That's not true. <laughs> Get out of here. Dan's is visiting from New York, so you hanging out? Uh, maybe eventually. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what to do, though, because she's a friend of Matt's, Elk Tears. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to figure out what to do while she's here because she has no idea. We have, we, I, I don't even know what to do. It's a love. I'm Michael B again. Michael B today. You like this song I'm singing, bro? It's okay. It's not good. I don't know why you'd tell me it's okay. I liked it. Really? Dash them out. Boom, boom. Boom. Bush Gardens. Oh, that could be cool. That could be okay. Man, Bush Gardens. That's old school. You're old school. You're an old school idiot. Got him. Wow. <laughs> oh, I tapped the green and now I can't play my ambusher. Oh, you God. I'm so stupid. You idiot. Oh, God. I hate myself right now. I guess I'll just attack for two. Oh, so bad. We were thinking of going to Hungry Howie's and not Hungry Howie's, uh, Little Caesars and getting their spaghetti buckets. You remember those? What? The Little Caesars spaghetti buckets. Nope. Don't know what that is. It's like a big bucket of spaghetti. Why is this a thing? <laughs> I bet it's terrible. It's gotta be. It's awful. probably not good. Yeah. Awful. Spaghetti bucket. I've never seen that before. It's literally a bucket filled with spaghetti. Only eight eighty eight. It's a good deal. And see, look. Remove bread from container. Portion desired amount of noodles onto each plate. Remove noodle sauce separator from container. And then you ladle sauce over the portion plates. And then you just make it. It's like a do-it-yourself spaghetti bucket. That's somehow more gross than I thought it would be. It's just a bucket of spaghetti, man. 
No one wants a bucket of spaghetti, okay? Bitch, please. Everybody wants a bucket of spaghetti. <laughs> the bucket seals the spaghetti flavor in. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you brought that one back, huh? What are you talking about? No. I'll, I'll sacrifice the creature that uh, literally comes back. One, two, three, untap this dude. Play these cohorts. Let's take you to see the Great Wall of Florida, and then after you guys can visit the Great Pyramids of Orlando. Wow. Those things don't even exist. Sure they do. You ain't never been to the Great Pyramids of Orlando? I don't think so, man. Man, you're missing out. They got great ribs. Do they have box bucket spaghetti as well? No, they have buckets of lo mein. Oh, lo mein buckets. Yeah. That makes sense because of Asian, yeah. Because of Asian persuasion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. This one flying sliver is really getting on my, my dang nerves. I knew they were going to play that. Well, biscuits. Butter my biscuits. I'd rather not. Butter them, Michael. Remember the time I had that biscuit and then I put the jelly on and then I put the butter on top of the jelly? Such a savage. I buttered my biscuit incorrectly because I was like, alright, I'll try this. I'll try jelly on this biscuit. And then I was like, do I do the butter too? And then they were like, yeah, of course you do the butter. And then I put the butter on top of the jelly. It was not ideal. But it was alright. It still tasted okay. Yeah, it's not okay. Visually, it, it left something to be desired, though, I'll be honest. <clears throat> then you got the cold jelly and the cold butter. Oh, God. Such a mistake. The cold jelly and the cold butter. Cold jelly and butter. Okay, so what? These guys are all attacking? See you later, Zimini Pot. Enjoy the film, it's great. Oh my god. Is that a Bass Pro Shop pyramid in like, where is that? Orlando? Get out of here. Oh, Memphis, you said. Oh, okay. So I think they have Urza's Rage, which means if we block here, they can still kill it. But we can triple block here. All right, you know what? And then they kill one of these guys instead, and that's pretty bad. I want to go to the Bass Pro Pyramid. Wow, no one wants to go there. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. This is so, this is, these are really bad blocks. I don't feel good about any of these blocks. Can we just take this and hope to draw the the game winner again? Oh, but then if we take seven, then we just die, right? So, yeah, it's pretty bad. How are you going to get a subway ad, man? It's messed up. Oh, wow. That's weird. <laughs> uh, but pedophilia. Offensive. <laughs> I'm sorry. This subway ad is offensive to me. Oh, look. The adders is rage after all. Alright, we're just going to cast this gentleman because we're probably dead. <clears throat> Their slivers have flying and haste. That's broken. That card's broken. 
What's your favorite, Mike? What's your favorite jelly? I think I like apple jelly a lot. Apple jelly. Mm -hmm. What about apple preserves with little apple pieces in it? Is that a thing you can have? That's just an upgrade. Preserves are just better than jelly. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's just a lot of damage in the air. Ooh, raspberry jelly is good. I do like raspberry and blackberry. The re okay, the only my only issues with raspberry and blackberry are the damn seeds. I really ignore those for the most part. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. <laughs> Spaghetti jelly, obviously. They all get in your teeth, though, man. Maybe yours do. My teeth are immune. They simply absorb the seeds and grow stronger. What the fuck? Lemon jelly, is that a thing? Go, you need to go to the dentist, Michael. Is lemon jelly a thing? Well, is it? I don't know. Mint jelly. Oh, no. I don't like that. Yeah, mint jelly's weird. So is like jalapeno jelly. I could understand a jalapeno jelly, though. Oh, it's elk tears. Would you sell a picture of your feet and or Mike's feet on the dark web if there was a market for it and people would pay top dollar? <laughs> I'm game as long as we get to the process. Let's talk about what? The profits. Some... I said process, I think. I meant to say profits. Wouldn't you get all of them because they're your feet and your pictures? Well, no, you're selling them, so we'll split the profits. Oh, you're getting some of the... I'm selling them and you're getting... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it depends on what we would define let top us dollar know, as. Let us know in the chat how much you want for those photos. and we'll Snarky Cereal. Thank you so much, Larry. We'll apricot around or strawberry rhubarb jelly or king. Don't at me. I don't even know what rhubarb jelly is. I've never had rhubarb jelly. I've never had rhubarb, rhubarb anything. In my, my biggest memory... I've never had a rhubarb. Rhubarb? A rhubarb. <laughs> I haven't had that either. Uh, my biggest memory from rhubarb is uh, from Batman 1 with Michael Keaton... Where Jack Nicholson's Joker says, never touch another man's rhubarb. That's my biggest association when it comes to rhubarb. Big tang, big sweet. Lobster jelly. No. Get out of here. I'm disgusting. I love lobster, but I don't want no lobster jelly. There's no way lobster jelly is a real thing, right? <laughs> Unless you're talking about like the weird guts part that you can eat. That's just lobster, Michael. There's a jelly everything. <laughs> I'm a jelly. <laughs> Shrimp jelly? Ugh. You guys like milk jelly? Jelly girlfriend. Hmm. Is milk jelly just cheese? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Rhubarb isn't a fruit, but they make pies out of it. Stop saying bar. Fruit. It's barb. Rhubarb? Yeah, you keep saying rhubarb. Like it's a like it's a like I have a gold bar, a silver bar, and a rhubarb. <laughs> like it's barb. Like, it's not a candy bar. Why not? Because it isn't. I don't know why. Maybe jelly has done it. Um, hmm. I have seeds, Michael. Could you jelly me? Wow. I'll jelly. You land. Just a land. Come on. Yes. Ugh. Patriot Act. What was that from? Oh, God, they're going to die eat. I can kill my best creature, and it's going to just be the friggin' worst. I hate you so much. It's from Departed, man. Hey, wait, hey, what are you guys up to? Just going to the rhubarb. <laughs> the rhubarb. Oh, I want to start a bar called the rhubarb, and I'm just going to have smoothies. It's going to be delicious smoothies. What about adult smoothies? Yeah, that'd be fine, too. It's a, it's a bar, man. It's a rhubarb. Okay. Have you ever been to the rhubarb? I have not. I have not. Oh, hey, Mike. Wow, which of these three drops, or which of these four drops is better? There's no way they block here, right? The one that kills them the quickest. That's my trick, Michael. They all kill them the quickest. Is that your trick? Yeah, I don't know. It's my your secret. Tricky, trick, trick. Tricky, tricky, chavy. That's not, none of these things are things. What are you talking about, man? Why are you the way that you are? Where are you? God, that was a good one. I didn't even think about that. <sighs> Here's a funny meme. I'll take movies for five hundred, Alex. Here, I'll just I'll just show it to you guys. Tim Burton directed this dark tale starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. You gotta be kidding me. 
I'll take his entire catalog. Oh, interesting. Well, I think we're just playing these. Well, they're out of they're like missing like three land drops, so I don't even think we're in a I don't think we're being threatened terribly right now, so All right. Anyone seen a standard Esper control list without 50 walkers in it recently? I'm kind of broke. Then Esper's not the deck for you. Hey, my man, friend. on the bright side, a lot of those walkers <clears throat> are uh, uncommons. So, you know, get her, get her done. Isn't there like an aggressive, more aggressive version of Esper with like creatures in it? I just work here, Michael. So you should know then. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Damn it. You got me. Oh, I like I like I like your sliver, boy. Can you see Mike B tonight? <laughs> Are you living to sing a song by yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, to be clear, this is what he does. <laughs> it's only because you started it, and it's just funnier when I do it. It's Mike B. It's Mike B every day. Michael B today. So I don't want to attack with everything because then they just block one. I guess if they okay, so if they block double block, we get to pump one and trade with both. So we're losing one for two. Uh, if we just attack with one, they can still double block, and we're trading one for two. So I think this is actually fine, especially because we're quite far ahead. I can see Mike B tonight. How did you know? <laughs> Humongous what? Man, that video is a classic. Oh, wow. Oh, that's terrible for us. Of course, they have this rare that completely does a number on us. I guess we did get rid of two cards. <clears throat> That's interesting. It's just a two for one, right? Oh, they changed their mind. They're like, no, nah, that's... Oh, one and one, huh? That's much better. That's a much better block. It's still a two for one, but they're preventing damage now. So we traded Force of uh, Force of Rage and a Goat Nap for a Frost Wall. That's fine. I am Pending Hunter. How did you know? <sighs> How did they know that? That's impressive. I guess because he was... Hey, man, fix that curtain. Can't ru it up. You just ruined the illusion. Hunter ruined the illusion. You ruined it. You ruined everything. I saw a sniffer. Wow. Nice nice catch. You ruin everything. Yeah, they're at eight. We're just gonna I have a weird urge to watch Spaceballs right now and I don't have a copy of it. Well, there's the internet, so I'm sure you can find a way. It's true. He's right. It's a great movie. <clears throat> Hunter didn't ruin anything. He is a good boy. Wow, two slivers for one irregular cohort? Yes. Excellent. Something, something might be. You remember that movie? Something, something might be? No, I've never seen that one. It looked like in slow motion you were drinking something. How do you know I'm not? Yeah, hmm. think about that. Smart guy. What if you're not so smart? Do you ever think about that? Never. <laughs> Never. What do I think about that? What am I stupid? Well, let me hate to break it to you, buddy, but you're not helping your case here. Man, seven mana. What a rip off. It's a six five though. Look how big it is. Man, you ever seen like Elish Norn? That cost seven mana. It's true. That is a big <laughs> one too. <laughs> 
That would have wiped his whole team. I wish I had one of those Phyrexian ones. He That's is like thick. $400. Damn, boy, he's that, thick. Is boy, that is loud. That is loud. I feel like it's louder here than it is there. How much are the Lesser Norns? 400 bucks? I don't know if they're 400, but they're pretty high. Why would you lie about that? Oh, like 228? Yikes. So Here's pretty. one for 210. That's half price. Oh, we just won the match. Come on, buddy, now. I just want to say good games to this dude, but it didn't let me say As long that. as there's Buck Ball, the meme remains funny. Yeah, that is really the... The Buck Ball really point. made it. The first version I did didn't have the Buck Ball at the end, and then I was like, this doesn't have the same. Wait, what is this? This? This is just some generic, like... This, somebody just made this. Oh, I was going to say, that's not a real thing, right? Look, look at these mana symbols, man. Oh, wow, yeah, that's pretty... Those are just like bad. shurikens. I was say, I don't remember there being a box top for that. Yeah, and it wouldn't be 850 yeah, it'd be way super expensive, probably. There's a second listing, though. This is weird. Yeah, this is this is not foil. This one is. Oh. Generic commander extended. Also, look at the crappy where they cut out the borders only kind of there. Oh. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, a real wouldn't do that. A real wouldn't do that, guys. Oh, look right here. You can see right there. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. It's pretty sloppy. This is not well done. No way, man. This is full art. Buck ball. <clears throat> this guy wants three hundred dollars for it. I don't. It's so weird when you have something listed for three hundred on eBay, but then you also have something for two ten. And I'm just like, why would you ever get the three hundred dollars one when you can get the two ten one? Let's look at the lowest. Yeah, two ten is the lowest. You just get the two ten. It's near mint. It's unbelievable. That is a card I would like to own. It's super sweet. <coughs> Cause it was super sweet. Super sweet. Super sweet. This auction is up to $205, right? It's an Aleshnorn, one of the Phyrexian, Phyrexian text Aleshnorns, right? It's at $205.50 with four days left. The next, the very next auction is a $210. Buy it now with free shipping. So, like, I would just spend the $5 and not, like, risk getting outbid or, you know risk spending more than 210 and just buy the 210 one it's so weird and, and this is like ebay's so weird sometimes. mike did you get all the cards for your commander deck yes and i'm working on a second one as well oh god he's so ridiculous and eventually a third oh god but three is my limit you're not gonna you're not gonna alex presnell it no that guy's got like 210 decks <laughs> i'm not exaggerating yeah the judge promo lush norn that's like in phyrexian yeah it's really cool it is very cool You getting those? Yeah, man. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> My commander is Joda. Joda. The guy who lets you pay Wooberg to play any spell instead of its regular mana cost. It's also 3 4 flyer. Wizard. Something. My league matchmaking failed. I'm going to get out of this and try again. See if that... I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Hey, how come your commander isn't Golos? You sell out? Because Golos makes you play from the top of your deck, and it's seven mana instead of five. Sell out with me. Oh, yeah. Sell out. Remember that song? I know that song. I know that jam. Yeah, you, you big Ska fan? I am. I do like Ska. No, you're not. Bro, I have Goldfinger all over my Spotify playlist, okay? Is gold uh, the the is blue, red, black, white, green. Wooberg. Who's your commander right now? I just told everyone. He already answered that. I just wanted to troll him a little bit. Have you tried Jota with Morophon yet? Jota with Morophon? What does that mean? So Isn't Morophon the seven mana like... Jota makes you pay five, mm -hmm. but Morophon reduces the cost by five colors. So oh, just so just like for free. free. That's pretty good. Yeah. you got to choose the creature type when Morophon comes into play, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy, right? I feel like that might be a little too cute. 
That's your, that's literally Mike's commander outlook in a nutshell. Like, what, you doing something cute? That's cool, I guess. I'm going to do degenerate shit and kill you in three <laughs> turns. I, that's only a god hand, okay? You're like, that's old Michael. New Michael has and a lot of more if fun. We're being, if we're being technical, the god hand can actually win on turn two if we're going to be super technical about it. Wow. That feels so much harder when you only have one ofs and 100 cards in your deck, you know? Well, it's not, it's not likely to happen. It just can. It just can. It just can, Michael. <laughs> you alright, man? What happened? <laughs> just the weird, like... It was so weird. Did you not like that? We're going to be crushing... We're going to like play all these games, and then at the end, we're going to be like, oh, we can't find our third round. That's going to be really sad. The old lift smacker. That's what happened, yeah. Moonscone, long time no see, right? You haven't been around for a while, right? Play black and get all the tutors, boy. Yeah, I'm already playing a bunch of tutors, except for a couple of them that are like really expensive. Like, uh, I don't play um the stupid. What's the stupid vampiric tutor? But it's sorcery speed. It's like three hundred dollars because it's from uh that one set, Three Kingdoms or whatever. Three Kingdoms. Yeah, Imperial oh, Seal. Imperial Seal. Yeah. yeah, that card's shit. I don't play Imperial Seal because it's way too expensive. I'm not going to shell out three hundred dollars for. But in the future. Commander card. Unless I was super rich, which I'm not, so. Nope, not doing that. Yeah, I do play Demonic Tutor, obviously. Nope, not doing that either. Dang it, this is all messed up now. Hold on, we're just going to do some stuff while we're here. Reset train. Oh, boy. Also not playing Grim Tutor for the same reason. It's way too expensive. Now you're doing a mouth zoom in? Yeah, we'll do this like. <laughs> so oh you can just God. go down and be like. Oh, that's got to oh, be. Oh, you did it wrong. Oh, this got to be on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, right? It's absolutely just, it's just the most gorgeous thing. you. Wow, two swamps in the sand, huh? All right, Mulliganos, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this. I was gone. In the meantime, I came a reasonable modern player and I picked up standard on arena though. Nicely done. Nicely done. You know what I say to that? I wish this wasn't a thing. <laughs> Isn't that all memes though? We're like, uh, yeah, don't no, know about that. No, I don't think that's true. Really? <laughs> Can you tell us what father likes with that? Father likes... Candied cigarettes. <laughs> it's funny because maybe he does, and that's where he went. <laughs> yeah, my dad went to go pick up candy cigarettes, and that's still where he is to this day. Well, they're hard to find, man. We need a 4K camera to improve the quality of this lip snacking visuals. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's true. Is there even a 4K webcam available? Is yeah, that the Logitech Brio is 4K. How much is that bad boy? It's like 150. You can find it for like 150. Oh, that's not that bad. The glasses are always the best. It's true. Here, did you try these yet? <laughs> oh boy. Did I do good? This is the avant-garde part of the stream. Well, I've got 75 cents on my desk. I use it for candy. It's more than 75, you dummy. Oh, uh, it's 85 cents. You know, it's a nickel, Michael. It's 80 cents, okay? I don't use it uh, for... It's 81, Frank. There's a penny right there. Oh. He idiot. got me good. I do feel like an idiot now. God, I feel so stupid. I was a fool. <laughs> Turn Mike with the googly eyes into the new bit donation thing. It's not a bad idea.
That's five cent candy money right there. Get them cola bottles. Can you buy individual ones? I feel like but the bag is going to cost more than that. I'm talking about those like weird wax candies where you they have like sugar in them. Oh, those are the worst. They're supposed to be soda pops. Zero spiders. What's that red enchantment you played? Is the cycling uh, thing? Oh, each land in your hand has cycling for a red. Okay. Which is it's kind of it's kind of a do nothing. Do you guys not have 7-Elevens or equivalent with the bins of 5-cent? I've never seen a 5-cent bin at 7-Eleven, no. I think 5 cents is a little too low for... Uh, for modern times? Yeah, for these days, for these candy times. Candy times. Doop, 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 doop. Just talking about Mike's candy times. Every day. I guess we're just playing Deep Forest Tournament here. What are you gonna do? Oh boy. I remember that five cent bin from when I was like eight, so 93. God, ages ago. Is that Mitt Romney? Where? On Mike's phone? Are you talking to Mitt Romney right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know that song? Yeah, man, it's my favorite song. Yeah. I lied. I hate you. Wow. That's that escalated very quickly. Have you ever felt a feels of tragedy and been close to Mike who has? No! <laughs> nice. I never had. What? What's nice? To knock on wood. But Michael B. has. That's rancid, right? Is Elk Tears going to help you sell photos of your feet? That's not. Wait, you're kidding, right? Isn't that rancid? Rancid? Yeah. No, that's Smash Mouth. Is that not Smash Mouth? No, it's, no, it's not Smash Mouth. It's not Smash Mouth. Hold on. <laughs> Smash Hold Mouth, on. Mouth is way... Well... No, man, man. What? Who is this? Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. That's correct. That's Boss Tones. It is Mighty Mighty Boss Tone Arenas. If you let Elk to yourself photos of your feet, you have to give him a cut too. That's fair. A cut of my feet? That seems really weird. I don't need to cut just a toe. Wow. That's like the biggest cut you can get though, right? Depends on which toe. All of them. All the toes? One cut and You're going to be a weirdo toe. without toes and you're going to be all lopsided and you can't walk properly. I'll do, but by, think of my fame though think of how famous I'll be what about well, I'll have such a good stories too they'll be like hey how can we walk all crooked and I'll be like well sit down son let me tell you a tale about the dark web toast, toast selling fiasco which is also the name of my ska band what's your name of the band? the dark web toast selling fiasco <laughs> nice DWTSF is uh, what, we, what, we, what we brand ourselves as that's good. I thought so. I never had to knock on And then you'll be bitter about not having toes. Because I didn't have no toes. And then you'd be lactose intolerant. Wow. It's not okay. Couldn't you just say they were your feet and just post pictures of feet that aren't yours? Yeah, but then you get the you get in the feet communities and they and start someone, talking about the they, they just start sharing them, them and then they're like these are two different feet. Yeah, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be a foot fraud. Foot fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that, man. Oh, that was a perfect draw. 
Never understood the fetishization of feet. There's nothing sexy about them. I agree with that, but clearly people do like it, obviously. So. Yeah, but you also have to accept that, like, people like different things, you know? Right. Legit question for Mike and Frank. Okay. It's here. not going to be legit. It's never legit. Would you sell feet? <laughs> okay, well. I already said I would for a profit. Oh, hold on. If. Here we go. If. Okay. Here we go. You were getting off. Oh, Jesus. You're, are you typing like William Shatner? Type faster, old man. Today, Junior. Old man, look at my typing. 400 for a photo? That's a good deal. I mean, 400 a photo for, for feet? I'm probably going to not turn that down. Oh, look, an 80. Oh, we got reprobation. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. 400 buckets of spaghetti is actually way more than $400. Oh, this is insane. Hold on. We're going to scan it like this. I think we just win here. Mike B, what's the lowest you would go for feet pick? I don't know. It's got to be worth at least 100 bucks. Michael, how low can you go when it comes to the feet show? Mike B, what if you prefer zeros on your feet? Um, hmm. I ain't taking 80 per photo, okay? It's got to be at least 100. Wow, okay. you went from 400 to 80? <laughs> no, I didn't. No. He's... Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> you can pay for spaghetti buckets with your profit from feet photos. Yeah, that's true. But then, like, if you just get paid in, in spaghetti buckets, you're really cutting out the middleman. Oh, wait, I'm making 80 for a photo and I put out 200 photos? Yeah, then that's a pretty good rate. Oh, I get 400, you get 80? Well, that's really unfair. But it's for my feet versus your feet. I don't know. They're talking about my feet first. Oh, who, who's they? <laughs> elk tears, basically. That's it. Like, like you got this built-in audience. I'm pretty sure this is just elk tears trying to get photos of our feet. Uh, excuse <laughs> <laughs> And he never pays us. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I wired you the money. Did you not get it? Yeah, I sent it on PayPal. And then he blocks me on Facebook, and I'm like, well, I just can't talk to him anymore. Oh, yeah, what sorry, about the lowest I would go is 100. What about pictures of your feet in a bucket of spaghetti? How do you, how about that? That's got that's a premium, okay? That's that's getting up there. Yeah, that sounds great. Touch Hopefully not with their feet. <laughs> Mike dips his feet into the spaghetti. I would spaghetti be terrified bowl. that Elk Tears has your address. It's worse. He's been to our house. Elk Tears <laughs> has been here before. <laughs> So he has more than just our address. <clears throat> he has an intimate knowledge of our Go on. house. I, I was trying to think of a cooler name for house, but it didn't, <laughs> didn't work out. Gregory our domicile. House. Elk Tears must have been hitting the log of one. Elk Tears just starts his own Twitch channel on Mike and Frank feet. Wow, that's... No... No. Who has a newspaper, man? Can't you just... Is there a more modern way we can do that? Yeah, where do you even find a newspaper in 2019? Mike, can you sell this foot dip special spaghetti for a sick, nasty photo? Um, oh, man. You'll Venmo us 105. Hmm. Frank, would you do bad water? <laughs> oh, Jesus. A thousand a bottle. Damn. Dude, if what's her name can only sell it for $30 a bottle, I'm not selling a $1,000 bath water, bro. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't think anyone will pay. And I don't blame them. Yeah, that's a lot of money for water. I think Thomas. Yeah, where you live too. That's true. Chad also knows. Oh, biscuit. Oh, there's a colored kappa now? I didn't know that was a thing. That's Kappa H D. At least they know you bathe. That's true.
All right, we want one land here. Actually, we have crows and tuskers. Thomas so. would just give you a thousand bucks and beg you not to send the bathwater. <laughs> yeah, Thomas would literally be like, "Here's a thousand dollars," but the stipulation is that you, you can't throw mail this to anyway. Yeah, he would literally, for the greater good, he would make sure we don't send it to anyone. Thomas is a great dude. We want a second white and we want a second green. So I think we're just going to get the white because we have a better chance of hitting a green. Magic player bathwater. That stuff doesn't exist according to my nostrils at magic events. Oh, we got him. That is a good, that is a solid. I wish it weren't true. That is a solid. Oh, look. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Mike B. I know where Hunter lives, but only the way I know where to pet him. LOL, not as a threat. <laughs> oh, but only in the way that, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that was, uh, that was a solid recovery there. <laughs> I know where Hunter lives so that I may come pet him. I accept. I accept your terms. Last time I showed up to FNM in the Modern Weekly, it was all clean cut, fresh bathed men with jobs in the Um, I have also noticed this as well. A lot of, there's a lot of stores that uh, have a lot more people who are looking hygienic and contemporary and it's very very well, nice at a local store that's true but like at a big event that's a different it's a different scene you know that's true like everyone when i went to the brooklyn strategist with elk tears with elk tears everyone at that store was really really uh well groomed yeah at actual stores i've never really had a problem with that but to be fair it's also a you're in brooklyn and b it was mostly me and elk tears and elk tears friends so yeah, like when in Seattle, like Mox was never an issue. There was never an issue at that small no, store. No, Mox was to. great. Uh, uh, Shane's, Shane's was great. Shane's yep. was fine. Uh, short stops, I never mm. really had that much of a problem. Although there had been a couple guys that sm smelled a little bit too much like cigarette smoke, I'll be honest about that. Wait, but. I went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. What are we talking about? Yeah, I'll just double block this guy. Elk tears, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. I'm really surprised you don't take the stream to the bathroom with you. That's kind of rude. Yeah, just like bring your if tablet. I'm streaming and you're and you're gonna get up and walk away, just just take me with you. <laughs> rude. Oh, I hate that they have lava dart and firebolt in the graveyard. That's really frustrating. I would, but I can't afford T1 internet in the toilet. <laughs> What's T1? Tier 1? Is that like the uh, S per control of your uh, I think T1 is actually a kind of business internet thing. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm listening. Wait, did they forget to recast their... Chooses not to cast. This is the second time someone has chosen not to cast this... The Trumpeting Herd. That's fantastic. Yeah, T1 is a kind of internet. Here's the thing. Oh, we're already at damage assignment? So they're just going to lava dart this guy? That's totally fine if you want to sack a mountain. Why are you, Why did you Google that and then post it in here? Oh, God, what is this? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. First that key is... click of the day, yeah. Oh, man, I can't believe we got a free trumpeting herd out of this. That's great. Okay, so here's the why are you like this? God, yeah, keeps making it more and more specific. Here's the thing, Mike, Michael, Mutual. 
Makuchel. Makuchela. I might have gotten a couple free shots of soju before leaving. I don't know what soju is, but I assume it's an alcohol. Where'd you leave? You're what, L? What? Moochel? Are you talking about Moochel? Soju is Korean rice liquor. Some hard stuff. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I think we just play Wall of a Thousand Cuts here, but then we block and then they firebolt it if they hit a land. I guess that's worth the gamble. You know what they say, Michael. No gamble, no future. Yeah, Moochel. That's what I, I've been calling Mike Moochel for ages. What's the next drinking stream? I don't know, tomorrow. I'll buy a bottle. I have a thing I'm doing tomorrow night. But I could probably do it after that. I don't know how late you want to be up. Oh, we can't do a late night drinking stream. I gotta work the next day. You gotta work at 4 p.m. Yeah. It's not like you go to work at 9 a.m., man. That's... I thought we were streaming, like, during the day. Um, well... I have a thing at 7. There's... Actually, so at the Straz Center in Tampa, there's a John Cusack thing. They're doing a showing of Say Anything. And after that, there is... Uh, John Cusack is actually going to talk for, like, an hour or two, I think. And it's pretty sweet. So, definitely looking forward to that. Did they do it again? What? Did they choose not to cast it again? Why are they not casting their second? This card's much worse if you're not making two. Yeah, that's really weird. What? Yeah, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna link it in the chat. This is the thing I'm going to. Where'd you even find out about this? Oh, uh, it was literally a sponsored post on Facebook and I was like, that sounds amazing. Say anything is one of my favorite John Cusack movies. Uh right underneath High Fidelity. And I was just like, wow, that sounds awesome. Wait, hold on. Boar Beast, Demon Druid, Elf Druid. We can get two Druids back? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's do it. Let's return two creatures. Oh, we can get the Changeling back, too. That's even better, right? Hermit and Changeling. Oh, wow. That's insane. I don't see how we lose that, actually. Especially if we play Rocks Veteran. Wow. That's really good. I know a drunk. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night, buddy. Gross Point Blank is also very good. You want to know something? Yeah, yeah. you haven't seen any of those movies? Nope. Exactly. You haven't seen High Fidelity? I've seen High Fidelity. Oh, so you have seen some of those movies then. You that haven't was... seen Say Anything? No. Say Anything is so good. I gave her my heart. She gave me 53 a 53 Bones? Dang, that's expensive. Yeah, but it's like going to a show. Like a... It's John Cusack, man. And it's Say Anything. It's great. It's fantastic. Hey, Mike B, tell Frank to look at his phone. Hey, look at your phone. Oh, my God. Did he send a thing? He did. Let's see what we got here. That's Matt singing uh, some, uh, was that, is that Audio Slave? Or is that, it's not, it's not Soundgarden for sure. My God, that man is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like a stone. Yeah, it's like a stone. I can't get over this elephant. They played double trumpeting her and cast neither yeah, of them. It would be in bad shape if they had all those elephants. Earlier, at least. I think we're actually just fine. They can kill this guy again with their firebolt, but we can just play this guy next turn. We have a lot of a lot of bodies on the board, as Drowning Pool would say. Rest in peace. Are they dead? The lead singer Drowning Pool died. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, you that. dummy. God, you don't know anything about Drowning Pool, do you? <laughs> Clearly not. 
I don't even know how you were the. I don't even know how you wrote that drowning pool newsletter all the time. I I had a ghostwriter. That's, that's such a. That's so typical. I just sent Elk Tears doing Hoobastank last night. Oh my god, stop. Hold on, Dan's just sent me a video too. I don't know if this is actually going to be Elk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that one was just screaming, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna go ham next turn with the veteran if they don't kill it, so. That was amazing. Um, it's called singing. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Howling mostly. That's an apt, apt and adequate description. And why didn't we go to that? Oh, because it's in New York, right? Got it. That's a good reason. I would go to that, though. Everyone knows you can only do karaoke if you're drunk. That's the only way I'll do it. <laughs> well, if that's the only way you'll do it. All right, here we go. We're going in. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, Michael? Oh, God, don't kill my... I'm just going to assure you if you try to kill it. Are you going to... Oh, that's really sad. Okay, you got it. That doesn't change the pain train, my friend. Oh, you got more? Uh, three goblins. Okay. Excuse me. Mm, four goblins. That's some buyback. One, two, three, four, five. Never. Never gonna let that happen. Let's get in there. Tap your biggest gentleman. You should show them the video of In the Garage Japanese Karaoke. I'd have to find that, actually. And by show them, you mean... Uh, let them listen to your beautiful pipes. Frank, you should definitely karaoke with Dan's and I next time you're in NYC and LaFoaf and Lil Willie and Cosme and Lil Taylor. <laughs> so many Lil's. So many lils. Lils for days. How come I didn't have a lil in front of my name? Yeah, how come you didn't say Lil Dan's? <laughs> That's messed up. Okay, so you're blocking here. Blocking, 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 blocking. This guy survives. So I'm probably gonna just fury this guy. He's good enough to save all the time. And then we're gonna pass. Oh, they can sack these and we can keep the squirrels. Okay, that's fine. Well, you you couldn't have said little me. You should come. You should def karaoke with Dan's and Lil I next time. That doesn't make any sense. God, typical, typical smell. Look here, here he is right here. This is an actual accurate portrayal of elk tears right here. Hmm. Oh, speaking of elk tears, is uh, karaoke. Their two tone vocalization contains a whistle and a roar. Both mean get away. Hmm. Hmm. How apt. Hold on in the chat. Interesting fact, most talented singers are born with the rare ability to breathe and vocalize words at the same time, which researchers think contributes to them being good singers. That's interesting. And we went a sweet 2-1 with this deck. I am totally okay with that. And thank you so much for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on uh, Patreon. You can check me out on YouTube, which you guys are watching right now. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I never remember if I said that. Uh, check out CoolStuffInc.com. You can find articles for me every Wednesday. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. And you can check out... 
I'm pretty sure Hunter is like trained that when I say thin, thank you. As soon as, start, as soon as I say that, he starts getting real whiny because I think he's Pavlovianly trained to know that that signals me getting up. Um, but yeah, also check out Mana Traders. They have a great subscription service where you can rent physical paper cards or Magic Online cards. And you can find a link and a promo code down in the description to get 20% off for the first three months. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.